today for math, we are going to learn about coins. We will talk about the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. I'm going to read you a poem for each coin to help you remember how it looks like and what it's worth. Let's start with the penny. Ready? Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper brown and worth one cent. Here is a picture of the front of a penny and the back of a penny. Ways to remember the penny are, it is the only coin that is brown in color, Abraham Lincoln is on the front, the Lincoln Memorial is on the back, Abraham Lincoln is facing right, and remember, the penny is only worth one cent. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. Here is a picture of the front of the nickel and the back of the nickel. Ways to remember the nickel are, it is silver in color and medium size. Thomas Jefferson is on the front and his house is on the back. Thomas Jefferson is facing left. And remember, the nickel is worth five cents. Dime, dime, little and thin. I can remember that you're worth ten. Here is a picture of the front of the dime and the back of the dime. Ways to remember the dime are, it is silver in color and tiny. It's actually the smallest coin out of all the coins. Franklin D. Roosevelt is on the front. There is a torch on the back. Franklin D. Roosevelt is facing left. And remember, the dime is worth 10 cents. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I've been told. Here is a picture of the front of the quarter and the back of the quarter. Ways to remember the quarter are, it is silver in color and large. George Washington is on the front. There is an eagle on the back. And George Washington is facing left. And remember, the quarter is worth 25 cents. Okay, friends, now you are going to make a coin sorting mat. First, you need a whiteboard or a blank piece of paper. Then, you are going to draw four big squares, just like my example. Then, you will label one square with penny, one square with nickel, one square with dime, and your last square with quarter. If you need help spelling the coin name, I've circled them in purple. Now, here comes the fun part. Go around your house and grab all the coins that you can find and put them into a pile next to your mat. Then we will go on to the next step. Ready with all your coins? Good, let's get started. Okay friends, 
Now, I want you to go through your pile of coins and try to find all your pennies. Remember, a penny is the only coin that is brown in color. Then, I want you to put all your pennies into the right square. It might be a good idea to pause this video so you have time to sort your pennies, then press play when you're ready to move on to the next coin. Good job on sorting your pennies. Now let's move on to the nickel. Remember, the nickel is silver in color and a medium size. Then put all your nickels into the right square, just like my example. Pause the video so it gives you enough time to sort all your nickels, then press play when you're ready to move on to the next coin. Good job on sorting your nickels. Now, let's move on to the dime. Remember, the dime is also silver in color, but it is the smallest coin out of all of them. Then, put all your dimes into the right square, just like my example. Pause the video so you have enough time to sort all your dimes, then press play when you're ready to move on to the next coin. Good job on sorting your dimes. Now, let's go on to our last coin, the quarter. Remember, the quarter is also silver in color, but it is the largest coin. Then, I want you to put all your quarters into the right square. When you're done, I want you to either take a picture or send me a video on Flipgrid to show me your work. 